We're here with UFC President Dana White coming out of UFC 203. This was a very strange week for you, Dana White. <laughs> uh, have you ever had a week with so many issues involving elevators? Yeah, no. We had a lot of elevator issues. Uh, it was a weird night, too. Um, Stipe saved the night, as far as I'm concerned. In terms of the CM Punk experiment, we, see, we saw for a year and a half as a promotion, was this a success? And what did you think of CM Punk after tonight? Well, I don't know if it was an experiment. You know, they, I, I became friends with him. He's a nice guy. I like him. I have a lot of respect for him. He wanted to give it a shot. I gave him a shot. I know that you're not going to say a yes or no to this, but is are you going to consider that his next fight would still be in the UFC? Is that an option? He probably shouldn't have his next fight in the UFC, you know? Um, just like I said with Brock, having your first fight in the UFC is tough. And you see tonight, even if it's against the guy who's 2-0, you know, this, this is uh, it's a tough place to, to learn. Mm -hmm. uh, the heavyweight picture, it, it, it was on display tonight. We saw it with Stipe Miocic and this crowd in Cleveland. Uh, tell me just about being in this market and that reaction. That has to be one of the larger ones you have seen in person. And this crowd just lost their minds with Stipe in the main event. It was incredible. I mean, it was, it was an incredible fight. Um, you know, when you got heavyweights in there, any guy can go at any minute. And those guys were bombing. Uh, looked like Stipe was finished. And then you, usually when, when Alistar slaps on that guillotine choke, you don't get out of it. He got out, kept his composure, and uh, ended up finishing him in spectacular fashion in his hometown for his first title defense. It was awesome. We are, of course, in Canada. Is there any update in regards to George St. Pierre and your talks? Are they at the same place? We're in Canada? <laughs> um, no. No, I, I, you know, I just, I, I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll see how this thing plays out, but uh, I don't know. Last question, with uh, all of the changes that are going on at the moment, I mean, this is very much a transitional process for you and the UFC with Lorenzo Fertitta and then the reports out about Joe Silva. Can you just explain what this period is like for you yourself, who has been surrounded by these people since you purchased the company? Yeah, obviously it was a little emotional in the, in the beginning, you know. Um, but I'm over it. Uh, you know, you got to move on and... Uh, you know, there, there's always, in business period, there's always challenges. There's always new challenges to face and, uh, you know, different obstacles to overcome. And I look forward to what we're working on over the next five to seven years. All right. Thank you very much for the time, Danny. We very much appreciate it. Thank we'll you. see you in Toronto. All right, buddy.